show me from Kevin Allen, Detroit Hockey Now. Hi, Simon. Uh, congratulations on being picked. Uh, I just wonder if you could sort of uh, take us through what your thought process is. Did, did Detroit uh, talk to you? Did you have a feeling you were going there or do you have no idea? Well, uh, how did it work out for you? Uh, yeah, I had uh, some talks with uh, with Detroit and, uh, and the guys over there, and uh, we had a really great talks. Uh, of course, uh, this night you can you can't believe any, anything. So, so yeah, when when the when uh, Detroit just uh, said my name, it was an uh, unbelievable feeling, and uh, I'm just proud of of being here uh, to be a part of the, the original six and. Yeah, and Detroit uh, to to be a part of the fans, crew, and everything. So uh, yeah, it's it's unbelievable. Could you sort of describe your playing style and what you consider your strengths and weaknesses, and maybe who you pattern your game after in the NHL? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm, a, I'm a skating defenseman that like to have the puck and, and make uh, make uh, things out of it, like. Uh, yeah, killing, killing plays and uh, and uh, yeah, stride offensive. I like to I like to yeah give the the team a good good effort on the on the ice. So so uh, yeah, I'm a big playing defenseman. Okay, thank you. Next question is from Ansar Khan, and live. Yeah, hi Simon. Uh, you know you're the you're the second big uh, defenseman the Wings have selected in the last three years. I was just wondering, uh, do you know uh, Moritz Sider at all? Uh, did you play against him in, in, in Sweden, or do your paths cross at all? Yeah, uh, I played against Sider, and he's uh, a really good, uh, really good defenseman, and really hard to play against. So, so yeah, I, I know I know the guy. I think you mentioned a, cu a couple weeks ago that you were a big uh, Nick Lidstrom fan. Just curious, have you ever met him? Uh, actually, not. I never met him, but uh, yeah, I'm used to watch when he played and and watch a lot of a lot of uh, videos of him. So uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a I'm a great fan of him and just heard all these stories. So so yeah. And did you, uh, did you have any contact with uh, with Nick uh, Cronwall uh, prior to the draft uh, during this whole process? Uh, uh, no, I, I hasn't been in, in contact with him uh, yet, but we will be. Thanks, Simon. Thanks. Next question, Helene St. James, Detroit Free Press. Hi, Simon. Uh, have you heard from Lucas or anybody or... Uh... What's been going on since you were drafted here the last half hour or so? Uh, I'm just celebrating with my my family and my my angel. So my friends also and and talk to uh, talk to some of the Detroit uh, guys. So uh, actually not yet. I haven't uh, been talking to him, but uh, we will. We will be. Who did you talk to from Detroit? Uh, some of the media guys had to talk to the, some of one of the team yet, but uh, yeah, I will, I will do that soon. What's it been like the, this uh, staying up this late? Uh, did you take an just take an afternoon nap or, or, or this this whole day, or was it, have you just been going on adrenaline and nerves? Uh, yeah, I'm just been going through adrenaline and nerves, so. Uh, I just been been up and uh, and eat and I slept a little bit uh, on the afternoon, but uh, now just the adrenaline and uh, the nerves has, has held me up. Last thing, what uh, what's next for you uh, this coming season? Where where do you where will you be playing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I will be playing for Alunda next season. Okay. Thanks so much. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Next question, Max Bolden, The Athletic. Hey, Simon, congratulations. Uh, I think you, you played in three different leagues this year. What was that experience like playing at so many different levels all in one season? 
uh, just a just a great experience to to have have all those uh, three leagues uh, to see, uh, yeah, and how to play on, on different uh, teams. So it was just an exciting uh, opportunity to to be able to to play with those teams and. Uh, it helped me a lot, especially for Lunda, that uh, gave me a lot of a lot of uh, good things. And uh, yeah, it's been it's just been good. What did you learn about what it's going to take to be successful against men by playing in, in both the Allsvenskan and the SHL? Just to be to be quick all the time, like to be strong and and to have. Uh, to have the the mindset all the time to be out in war so uh just to be to be uh yeah awake all the time and then last thing i know you said you haven't talked to lucas tonight but uh, in the process did he tell you anything about what the red wings organization had been like for him to develop in or did you guys have any talks about that just in the process before tonight uh no nothing uh before tonight but, uh, yeah we have uh we have uh, done that, uh, yeah, before. Thanks, Simon. Thanks. Next up, Ted Colfin, Detroit News. Uh, Simon, congratulations. I just want to you and Lucas were teammates at one point this season with Forlunda, obviously, correct? Yeah. I mean, did you guys talk about the possibility of probably of maybe being teammates with the Red Wings then? Uh, actually not. We have some think that long but uh, but now we maybe we'll talk about it <laughs> how exciting how happy are you for that i mean it's, it's such a rare thing basically yeah i'm so excited and and yeah um i'm just so excited and happy to to be here and to be a detroit uh, a part of detroit family so uh, yeah so excited and and grateful Hey, just last one. Growing up, were you a Wings fan? Obviously, with the Swedish connection with the organization. I mean, did you follow the Wings a lot growing up? Uh, I follow it. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, I've been following it. Uh, so, yeah, just it's just so good. I, I can't uh, really talk right now. I'm just so, so happy. Sounds good. Congratulations. Thanks. It looks like that's all the questions we have for Simon. Thanks to everyone for joining us. Welcome to Detroit. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Thanks.